Hi, welcome to BQ Prime. And today we have joining us Vivek Chansegar, Chairman of Samvardhan Madhusan International, and Kunan Manali, the CFO of the company. The company made an acquisition and made the announcement on Sunday. And uh, first of all, we will take ahead with the questions right away. Uh, so first of all, I wanted to ask you, uh, so what is the thinking behind this acquisition and how will this company uh, help Madhusan Sumi in uh, uh, taking ahead their plans for future. Uh, Madhusan Sumi is now uh, Samvardhan Madhusan uh, International. Right. So Samuel, the new quote for that. Um, look, this uh, was a very interesting um, um, thing we, we wanted to do uh, for almost about eight, nine months. We were trying even before uh, in uh, our uh, uh, earlier uh, um, thing as Madhusan Sumi. Um, we used to do the same for Daimler. We used to do the uh, same for many other customers, but we're not really organized the way SES is. So when we came to know that this asset is coming into the market, we were very uh, excited. And uh, I'm glad to inform you that our teams have come to an agreement with uh, Parisia. Uh, we'll uh, take over 100% of this asset. Uh, Kunal will give you the uh, numbers on the uh, uh, this complex team, but it will take about four to six months, seven months to get all the approvals and all that and close the position. We will take 100% of this company and open a new vertical. Uh, in yep, and uh, can you feed? Yeah, will be uh, the enterprise value of this asset is 540 million as you have noticed uh, uh, we will fund it through debt and internal approvals okay. uh, uh, and the asset at the point of closing will carry its customary uh, uh, you know debt and debt like item reduction sure. uh, and the equity value will probably be lower than the 540 million sure, sure, sure. mr Seigal, i wanted to uh, uh, you to take our viewers with the thinking that what was the thinking behind this acquisition and how uh, will their operations uh, aid um, some of them in uh, international operations in any way if you want to take our viewers with that see uh, uh, as i was trying to explain to you up mm -hmm. till now we were just a component supplier or a module supplier to the car maker yeah but this particular uh, business allows us to work very closely with the car makers. In fact, 24 facilities are in the car makers uh, facility. Oh. And we assemble the whole thing, uh, thing uh, cockpit over there, and then supply it just in time, just in sequence to the car, car maker. So oh. if you can, uh, the, the panel uh, the, uh, um, um, is, is a very big item. So it cannot be very far away from the line. So it yeah. has to be either right next to the line or just on the outside of it and then supply just in sequence and just in time. So it brings us very close to the car makers and uh, some of the best car makers in the world are, uh, are uh, the customers of this uh, company, in, including the leading electric vehicle maker in uh, America. Uh, uh, we are exclusive with them. Uh, where they are, we are also uh, setting up and uh, have already got plant with for them. So it it's a, a, a very uh, um, close nexus with the customer. So that is why it's very exciting. And since the plants are right there, right next to the Kamika itself, uh, we have natural advantages because a lot of pass through is going to happen. Almost about four and a half, five billion dollars worth of pass through is going to be happening uh, through us. So it, it gives us a lot of knowledge, it gives us a lot of technology, and uh, most important, the team of almost about 5,000 people will join yeah. Mother Sun and they have all the capabilities in within them and the software also. Okay, sure, sure. Uh, um, uh, my next question to whoever wants to answer it. Uh, so, uh, what kind of revenue accretion or uh, complete numbers uh, that you are looking for uh, in the first year of the operations with the company? Uh, I'll again uh, ask Kunal to uh, help me out here. 
and uh, give you that because this is a little bit complex of gross and net and all that. So Kunal, yeah. can you please answer that? Yeah. So uh, on a on a principal basis, this is today carrying 4.4 billion of revenues. Uh, mm -hmm. On a uh, net revenue basis, it will be uh, nearly 900 million today. Okay. Uh, it has a book business of uh, three odd billion for the next three years, which means a revenue visibility of at least a billion on an average over the next three years. Mm -hmm. And then you can build a trajectory from 900, you know, growing on that. Now, uh, uh, this is obviously for what is booked today. Uh, mm -hmm. In reality, uh, you know, after we've bought the asset, we do expect to be able to grow this much faster. Uh, this business only does uh, interior modules. We do exteriors as well. We do commercial vehicles as well. So there is, uh, you know, many other things that we can add to the asset. The whole sure. four point or uh, the three point five billion of pass through uh, that is there is something that uh, you know we have a potential of insourcing. Uh, so uh, as newer orders come in, we will see how much of that can come in, and that will all add to the top line as well as to the to the bottom line. Sure, sure, sure. So my next question is that uh, uh, Madhusan Sumi or Samadhan International, that is uh, now it is known as, so uh, they have a strategy uh, for the last many years that they will grow inorganically and organically as well. So acquisition-led growth is also there in the total uh, plans of the company. So uh, I wanted to understand what is the gross debt on the books and how do you plan to deleverage your books uh, given that the rates are rising and uh, the indications are that uh, they are not likely to stop as we were expecting earlier and uh, so in that case uh, how do you plan to uh, come, uh, go on with your acquisition debt strategy and also deleverage the debt on your books so uh, as i mentioned yeah as i mentioned when uh, we will be funding through the debt and internal approvals the debt on the books mm -hmm. today is around eight and a half thousand crores Mm -hmm. without considering uh, the lease liabilities. So that's an added to a bit of mm -hmm. around about 1.8x. Sure. Uh, uh, going forward, uh, as we expect our own uh, organic side of the business to, to mm -hmm. further improve from where things are, uh, we do see the market continue to grow even further from where it is. Uh, and as you know, we are exposed more on the premium end, which is not having as much of headwinds as, as maybe some of the other segments are having. So uh, with with that performance and with our capex cycle being relatively more benign, considering a large chunk of our capex were done pre-COVID, we do expect uh, a decent amount of internal approvals to come in, which should help in be leveraging. Uh, the asset that comes in obviously gets added as as debt, uh, but uh, it's a cash flow generating asset, uh, and and. With more working capital improvements, uh, we do think that the overall net debt to EBITDA should not be increasing too substantially, even if we were to consider the whole asset that we bring in as on debt basis. So sure. uh, hence, we'll not have a net debt to EBITDA impact of, of too much, uh, even on a fully debt funded basis for this mm -hmm. asset. Mr. Saigal, uh, the last quarter's earnings that uh, the company reported, and they also highlighted some headwinds there that there are some industry wise, not just for the company, that uh, some employee costs are rising and some commodity costs are also a point of concern. So I just wanted to understand given that the growth is not as much as uh, one would like to have in both light vehicles as well as commercial vehicles volumes, and uh, there are headwinds also there. So, what's your outlook for the company or for the industry in the coming one year? Okay, um, uh, it's it's very difficult to um, look into a kind of a bowl and then say that you know this will happen, this will happen, and all that. Uh, Madhusan has always proud uh, uh, of our teams because these people are always on the toes, and as the challenge comes, they respond very very quickly onto that. Uh, I believe uh, uh, inflation is uh, uh, the real cause in many of the countries and uh, naturally it affects uh, the people. So uh, um, Matheson is working together with its customers to mitigate that particular thing for our workforce and our associates. So I think uh, very difficult to say what will happen, not happen tomorrow. Maybe all these things might uh, fizzle out like uh, the gas uh, was a big uh, issue uh, four months back and sure. 
then you have seen the you know, the gas is thrown, the air is thrown to come out of the sails of the gas um, problem. So I think uh, the world is aware, the governments are aware, uh, customers are aware, and we are very aware of uh, these particular things. We believe that uh, we are very interactive and uh, are resolving issues as much as we can. And if not, then there is going to be a pass through. Uh, and our customers are not hesitating at all. And especially this acquisition, if you think of it, you know, we are in the uh, car makers' premises. So if the car makers are increasing the wages, they can't say this to us that, uh, no, no, uh, we can't give the gift. The effect is going to be the same. So in that sense also, this particular acquisition is phenomenal. But globally, uh, I think all the governments are aware and customers are aware. And uh, a lot of interactive uh, steps are being taken to mitigate these things. Sure, sure. That was my last question to gentlemen. Thank you so much for speaking to Wikipedia. Thank you so much for having us. Bye-bye.